Minecraft 1.21 still has a long time in the oven, but you can try out brand new features in the snapshots by enabling a simple little setting. In this video, I'll show you how to do that for Java and Bedrock Edition, so you can get testing with Minecraft 1.21 pretty much straight away. It's super simple. All we need to do for Java Edition is open the Minecraft launcher, then on the Java Edition section here, expand latest release and choose latest snapshot if you have this available. It should be 23W43A or possibly something newer. Once you've done that, you can click play or install and the game will fire up. If you don't see latest snapshot here, head across to installations, then make sure snapshots is ticked. When you do so, you'll see the latest snapshot here. Otherwise, new installation and version, you can change it to the latest snapshot or a particular snapshot version. Just name it something like snapshot, choose the version and create. Then you can select the latest snapshot and hit play. Now to test out new features, you can't just simply load into an existing world. Instead, you need to create a new one. Head into single player and you'll see this screen. Simply choose experiments, then make sure update 1.21 is enabled here by setting this to on. Once you've done this, hit done, change the game mode if you're interested, name the world something like 1.21 snapshot and we'll create it. Now when you're in game, you can open your inventory, search for something like the crafter and there you go. It's that simple. We can now get to using 1.21 features immediately. How do we do this in Bedrock? Well, unfortunately, as Bedrock is cross-platform, it takes a different amount of efforts for the features to be added to every different device type. For now, at least, we have it available on Windows over here in Minecraft for Windows. This is the Bedrock Edition, as well as Xbox and, as far as I understand, some iOS devices. More in the future will obviously get access to 1.21 as time goes on in snapshots. All we need to do is download Minecraft Preview. You can simply expand this and choose Latest Preview here, then hit Install. If you don't see Latest Preview here, you may need to enroll, for which you'll find a link in the description down below explaining that. And if you're on iOS, you can enroll in a beta testing group, but unfortunately the group is rather small, with only a handful of new players being added to Test Flight every once in a while. In the description, you'll find a link to Test Flight if you'd like to sign up for use on iOS. The beta is of course full for now, but hopefully more players will be added in the future. Anyways, this is down below. For now, the latest preview has finished downloading. I'll hit play here, and when you reach the main menu, all you need to do is hit play preview, followed by create new, then we'll create a new world. This isn't necessary if you already have a world existing. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. This is to create a brand new one. I'll choose creative for this, normal. Then we need to head across to experiments at the bottom of the list and enable update 1.21. Then turn on experiments anyway. There's a few other add-ons here as well. We'll create this and the world will be loaded. Just like that, we're now in game. We can open the menu and once again, search for crafter. And as you can see here, we have the crafter as well as all of our pottery shards, etc. You can place it and use it as per usual. If you have an existing world already, simply hit play preview, followed by finding your world here, then clicking the pencil next to it and under the game tab, scroll down all the way until you see the experiment section. Then simply make sure update 1.21 is turned on. If you create the world with this enabled, it'll be grayed out so it'll always be enabled for this world here. You can enable other features as well. Anyways, that's really it. You now know how to enable Minecraft 1.21 features for Bedrock and Java Edition and get playing with the features that you'll only really see next year in the full release right now in Snapshots. It's super exciting. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.